Hey, my name's Michael and I'm from Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia. I've decided to join in with Distance 2021 and feature some sand raking that I've uh, done last weekend. I've only recently just started sand raking, you know, at the beginning of this year. I've been seeing it and I've been wanting to do it for a long while. It's really simple and really easy to do. Previously, I what I usually create with is rocks and leaves and sticks. I'm usually at the beach, so I'm usually playing with rocks, stacking them, making arches, stacking them. But then it also gets more complex where you start to balance them uh, as you spend more time out in nature and you, you really start to push yourself and see what you can create. Same with sand raking. You know, you could spend hours upon hours creating something, you know, working with the tides as well, depending on if it's low going into high. There's There's so much to it. Um, I've been doing it since about the beginning of 2016 when I f was in the end of finishing school, uh, finished in 2016 and I was going to the beach just, you know, playing around with photography, sh taking photos of rocks, all the different textures that are there. And I just started stacking rocks just for a bit of play, a bit of fun. Um, nature is what really inspires my practice. I feel it, you know, being out in nature, you start to learn more and more about yourself as well as, you know, it gives you some kind of creative inspiration. You know, you, you get a little bit bored and you just feel like playing, you know, becoming a kid again. I used to always do it when I was little, you know, going to the beach, creating things, and as well as all these amazing artists. You know, I've, I've jumped on social media, which is a, a blessing as well. And I've found so many amazing creatives that continue to inspire me via all different kinds of creations, not just rock balancing or making mandalas or sand raking. It, it, is, it is literally endless because every single person has their own uniqueness to bring to this practice. And that's what's so beautiful about it. I've decided to feature two different kinds of rakes that I did on Sunday, which was two days ago now. I did one on my main beach where I usually go and create rock balancing as well as a little bit around from it kind of it's a bit of an interesting beach uh but i really i really love the space that it has there and i feel like what i was going with with my creation was it, it's it's a very i find that this art is very open interpretation i like to create things that you look at and you see your own you know symbols and meanings to it and how it can how you what you can take from it everyone can take their own little piece from it and I feel that what I've created is there for you to have a look at and you think about what distance is and the distance between us when really where I'm talking to you right now face to face via a phone, it's still distance, but is it really as much distance as we think? You know, it, same with goes with time and creating these kinds of creations. How much time is too much time? Who knows? Because it's, it, it time starts to fade away when you're creating a sand creation it just starts to just flow and it, everything connects you just become connected with that space and it's just it's such a beautiful thing to be able to get out in nature and create something with your hand with a rake with whatever something that's then going to be reclaimed by nature and it's just it's just stunning you know uh, so if you'd like to find out more about my art, I, I have Instagram and I have Facebook and that's at Michael Arnold Artist. I might see you there. Thank you for listening.